Remember how Germany was leading the electric car transition? Well, things have changed. Let's take a look at the newest numbers and find out what's making it hard for electric cars to grow in Germany. You might have heard that electric cars are getting pretty popular these days, but there's a twist. In Germany, sales of electric vehicles have dropped by an unbelievable 30% since last year, 2023. That's quite a significant fall. So, there will be a huge reaction in everybody's mind. Why has this happened? Right now, the economy isn't doing so great, so people are controlling their expenses. Even though electric cars can save you money on gas in the long run, they usually cost more upfront. When people are worried about their finances, they're more likely to hang on to their old cars instead of spending out for a new electric one. Reduced government incentives are another thing. Germany used to offer some pretty nice incentives for people to buy electric cars, like tax breaks and rebates. Recently though, these incentives have been reduced. Without these perks, electric cars seem a bit less appealing to potential buyers. Infrastructure issues are another notable problem. Although there are more charging stations popping up now, some people still find it inconvenient. If you live in an apartment without a charging port, or if there aren't many fast chargers on your daily route, an electric car might feel like more trouble than it's worth. The global supply chain issues, partly due to the pandemic, have made it harder for car manufacturers to get all the parts they need. This has slowed down production and delivery of new electric vehicles. So, what does this mean for the future? Despite these drops in sales, it's not all bad news for electric vehicles in Germany and in Europe. Some things are there to keep in mind if you are planning to buy an EV. The move towards electric vehicles is definitely a long-term thing. Governments are all about cutting carbon emissions and car companies are pouring loads of money into electric tech. So even if we see ups and downs in the short run, the future is more and more EVs in the street. Battery tech is getting better all the time, which means electric cars are becoming cheaper and can go further on a single charge. As these advancements keep rolling in, more and more people will find EVs a great option and governments may adjust their policies to better support the electric vehicle market. If sales continue to lag, we might see a return of more generous incentives or other measures to encourage people to buy EVs. More and more people are waking up to environmental issues and looking to cut down their carbon footprint. This rising awareness is going to keep boosting interest in electric cars. So, what's the talk in the streets on this dip in EV sales? It's interesting to see how people are reacting to these changes. Some people are disappointed, especially those who are hoping for a quicker transition to greener transportation. On the other hand, Traditional car enthusiasts see this as a sign that gas-powered vehicles aren't going away anytime soon. Better incentives is what everyone's looking for, right? There are calls for governments to reintroduce or increase incentives for buying electric cars and educating people about the benefits of electric vehicles, not just for the environment, but also in terms of long-term savings and driving experience could help boost sales. In 2024, Germany's electric vehicle sales are almost similar to that of 2023. Despite being a top player in EV production, the country saw a 14.1% drop in Q1 sales compared to the previous year. The sudden reduction in EV subsidies in December 2023 played a role. However, Germany aims for 20-25% to of the market share to be EVs by 2030 and projected revenue from EVs is expected to reach $60.2 billion by 2024. With sales down since 2023, the road ahead seems challenging. Can Germany come back with huge EV sales in 2024? Comment your thoughts on this and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.